Hello everybody and welcome to another Python 3 basics video. In this video we're going to be discussing some of the basics to debugging. In my videos I get a lot of questions for help where people have errors and they're not really sure where the problem is, but if they use some basic and simple debugging they'd realize how obvious the answer really is. So most of the time the problem is a typo followed very closely to a misunderstanding of indentation and standards, but usually it's a typo. Um, and I guess they just don't understand what the error is saying, but every time you see this error, it's like, oh, you should just automatically be like, oh, I must have typoed somewhere. So if you don't know what standards are, standards are basically how we organize our code. So with Python, unlike most languages, you define blocks of code uh, like functions with indentations. So define uh, function, and here is your functions code. Everything goes in here. And then whenever the function's done, it's just literally, um, you just unindent and you start new stuff. So this is the function block and this is not the function block. And when people start getting into trouble they do stuff like this and that gives them um, problems uh, with syntax. Now there's obviously a lot of in-depth uh, in common issues that you might find from time to time and you can find some more debugging videos uh, by searching for debugging in my channel. Uh, for now I'm just going to keep these uh, examples pretty basic. The first error that we're going to discuss is name error is not defined. So uh, an example of this one is going to be variable equals 55 print variable. So we've obviously typoed variable and we go to run and we get, you know, uh, name error variable is not defined. And this sometimes drives people crazy, especially if maybe this is variable and this is the typoed variable and they say they see name arrow variable is not defined but they know they just defined it like they just defined it so they start freaking out but almost always this is the case it's they've just simply typoed variable now we can talk about indentation issues here's an example of something you, I've seen a few times uh, task and then they come down here uh, task 2 and then they start typing um, whatever um, and you get expected and indented block. Um, and this just means that it expected some sort of indentation here. Uh, another time uh, that you'll see something similar uh, when it's expecting another indentation, uh, yet slightly different, is say you've got print, or better yet, a variable where it says x equals, um, actually first we'll show print. Uh, print, and people maybe print, hello there, and then they come down here and immediately you should recognize that oh something is wrong because Python has indented me and I don't know why and it's for the reason before where you could put something like this and then more stuff um, but then some people continue on and you'll have print um, f let's say and you run and it's just as invalid syntax well that's not very helpful to some people <laughs> especially if it's not going to highlight where your invalid syntax is but again, generally it's because you didn't close something off. Now, another common one that people are going to get is going to be the following. It's going to be EOL while scanning string literal. Um, and this happens a lot if, say, you've got a variable and the variable is a string of text and like this, string of string, and then print <clears throat> x and we'll run. And you get EOL while scanning string literal. And the reason why you get this is the string never finished, yet we started a new line, and he's very frustrated, so you'd have to close this off. Now, those are just some of the common things, uh, and I realize maybe that was just really painfully slow for some of you guys, um, but this actually catches a lot of people. I'd say at least 90% of the um, problems that people have, they, you know, if they leave a comment and they're having a debugging problem, they've got something wrong with their script and they can't figure it out. Honestly, 90% of the time, uh, it's one of these things, and of that 90%, probably 90% of the time, it's just a simple typo. Um, so anyway, I thought it'd be a good idea to go ahead and cover that uh, as far as, you know, name or, you know, variable not defined, uh, almost always a typo. Um, so sometimes people just don't understand what the error is even saying to them, so they don't even know what to think. So anyway, that's going to conclude this video. Hopefully that was helpful for some of you guys. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support subscriptions. And until next time.